Oh. <laughs> Guilty. Uh uh, that's not working yeah. for me. No, we just pronounce all the letters. <laughs> I feel good with these two, but it's like every American breaks like eight laws or something a day. What? Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are here in the frigid Midwest. So cold. It is negative 10 Celsius. And yes, I did have to look that up to Fahrenheit. <laughs> it's like 14 Fahrenheit. Yeah, and it's supposed to get even colder. Uh, I know you guys aren't interested, but we have like a big football match thing going on. Go here. Chiefs! Sorry. <laughs> here tomorrow night and it's like a playoff game or whatever and it might be the coldest game in NFL history. So yeah, it's supposed to be zero or below. It's supposed to be negative seven Fahrenheit oh, um, oh. tomorrow night. So yeah, it's super cold. Anyway guys, we are in our little office where it's nice and warm. Yeah. And we're going to be checking out a video of five things Americans do that drive Brits crazy. I can't think of anything that would, us Americans would drive a Brit. I, I screwed that up. <laughs> I can't think of anything that the Brits would find about crazy about us. Arrogance, I'm sure is gonna be one of them. <laughs> anyway, guys, I thought you just meant me, like you just oh, just no, all I meant, like, just arrogance. I have an idea of what some of these are gonna be, but it's gonna be interesting to check out and see. Anyway, guys, that's what we're checking out today. Please comment down below and let us know if you agree with these, and also what are some things that Americans do that uh, annoy you guys. Yes, and if this is one of them. <laughs> I can't think personally of anything that uh, the British do that I would th find annoying. Like any, like you know, any, everyone could be a dick. Yeah, that's like that, true. That, whatever. But uh, just personally, like on a stereotypical whole, whatever. There's nothing I can think of that like the Brits are extra. The Brits annoying. are annoying about. I don't know. Anyway, guys, let's get into it and see what they have to say. Hi, we're Joel and Leah. And today's video is five things Americans do that drive Brits crazy. Okay, just so you know guys, before we get going, we have made this exact same video in reverse. So mm -hmm. things that Brits do that drive Americans crazy. Yeah. Um, just so you can't get too offended. Yeah. Take it with a pinch of salt. It's a pinch of salt. Honestly, because don't take it personally. Don't it, take none of it is personal. Personally. It's all a joke. Yeah. British people are sarcastic. So obviously, the UK yeah. and the USA are very close. There are lots of similarities between the countries. Yeah. But there are also a lot of differences and we both piss each other off. <laughs> <laughs> so, shall we kick it off Sometimes. with the first thing that they, yeah. that they do? Yeah. Okay, the first thing they do is say, Oh my god! Say water! Say water! <laughs> say water! Oh. Say, water. Oh. say table! <laughs> it's so cute! Oh, wait. See, I'm more like, say aluminum. <laughs> aluminum. No, actually that, I, do, I feel like, I, okay, again, this is just a fun video they made. I feel like that's not just, I feel like that's anywhere with like accents. Well, no, there's like, there's a TikTok guy I came across that his whole channel is his wife's super thick Boston accent and they're oh. both American. <laughs> so he just has her say random words because of how thick the accent is. Okay, so I, I think that. any like Minnesotan yeah. or uh, Wisconsin, like any one of the, I like love how they talk. <laughs> it's just great. So I would be like, absolutely even with someone like that, I'd be like, hey, can you say this or can you say that? <laughs> Has to be someone I know well enough. I oh, would yeah, not I would say that to a, a random British person. But I do feel like yeah, if like a Brit was over here, mm -hmm. like traveling or whatever, and as soon as like people find out they're British, like, oh my god, we love your accent. You're the best. Can you please say this? I will admit, I have done a similar thing where uh, when my brother-in-law visited, I asked him to speak a phrase in German on command because I just I just wanted to hear what it sounded like. Him speaking a different he probably, language. He probably said an insult. I'm sure. <laughs> he might. Have. I don't. I don't think he did it for me. I think he like refused. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Say like table! It's so cute! Oh wait, table sounds the table. same. Table! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just saying that I love your accent, You like, it's a compliment, I guess. But it's just, when you hear it all the time... Yeah. And it's, it's the making fun, away. like, oh, you say water, so funny. It's like, no, we just pronounce all the letters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can be a bit annoying, just they say it correctly. Like, coming back to the accent. It's like, yeah, we speak differently. Carry on talking. Yeah, which I'm, I know is kind of ironic because we've made videos like, oh, Americans say this, but let's ignore that. We know we're hypocrites. Yeah. <laughs> let's move on. Also, on the note of accents, like what's even more irritating and annoying and uncomfortable is when Americans try and change like how they speak a little bit to sound like us. But oh, they're still in, 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 in a in it, it, it's so jarring. Like it's really hard not to cringe. They'll be like, oh, I was just like laughing at you. And they're like, oh, it's so painful. I can't <laughs> deal. I don't know. Maybe it's a slip of the tongue, but it's too much. It's too sick. Uh, it doesn't bother me, but I it find it you. hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, again, it's just like, 
it is meant to be a compliment. Like, oh, yeah. we like your accent. We and like we how do. your voice sounds. Especially in like Midwest America or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's very much like, oh, you meet a foreigner. It's like, oh. What are you doing here? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I don't know, you just like want to befriend them or like get yeah. to know them or like just we don't talk meet to them. Very, we don't meet as many foreigners for sure. No, it's definitely not like New York City or uh, LA or Yeah, some other those like popular that. places where there's a lot of foot traffic. Next one's to do with the service industry in America. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's when they take your plates away. Too is soon. it the tipping? So say if you yeah. and I were eating and you finish first because yeah. you eat fast and so do I Tick. but you fin you finished even faster than I have correct and they've taken your plate but I'm still eating yeah hate that hate that I've said it before huh. I'll say it again <sighs> don't do that to me don't clear Brit's plates until everyone Everyone's has finished, finished eating it's so, so rude. rude so rude it's literally grinds on my gears and we know why huh. we know that you're efficient your views is that yeah, you don't want a dirty plate sat in front of you, you want it gone as quickly as possible, but that is so rude in right. the UK. Yeah, it's so rude. That is rude? Oh, well, I could see it being rude for the fact that you're interrupting their meal. Like, they're all talking, even though one's finished, they're still, like, conversing and they're still eating together. So if someone just comes in and is like, may I take your plate? And then just start, like, and then you start grabbing all the empty plates. It, it, it does disrupt I know, things. but you usually just kind of set them off to the side. Yeah. I mean, I always thought it was just more of a... Uh, if you have a lot of people in a lot of different plates, it's kind of nice to have someone come and take them away so you can continue without, like, juggling and stacked on top of plates. Well, no, I've just always thought it was like more about the tipping thing. Like, oh. they're just trying to do good service. Make sure you like, top so up on your drinks, tip. clean your table, you know, come in asking you like, hey, yeah. do you need anything else? Are you sure you're good? How was the food? All that stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely not offended by that. Not not meaning like what they're saying, but like as an American, when uh, waiters do that, I'm not offended at all because I actually appreciate that because they're like being attentive and you know, they're actually doing their job and this I know that's what they're supposed to do and it's it is interesting know. that it's like considered really good. But I could see that because the Brits don't tip so that's not really as needed I guess to be above and beyond to like constantly be serving the table. They're more just like when you're done, you're done. I mean half the time you you order stuff at the bar and then come and take it to your own table or something. Yeah. It makes me feel like I'm the only one eating. Yeah. And I'm just like, this sucks so much. Titties, titties, titties. Titties, titties, titties. titties. <laughs> also, if everyone's got their plates still and people are coming to the end of it, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, can I try a bit of that? Yeah. And I'm like, I've still got my plate there. Yeah. <sighs> anyway. Yeah. The next thing that drives us absolutely crazy, bonkers, is um, the inability to use indoor voices. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> we read this down before we filmed the video and I was like, I'm sorry, but they're just always loud. Yeah. Americans are, we've spoken about it before, physiologically, the way that American accents work, the sound reverberates more than British voices. I, we won't bore mm -hmm. you with the explanation, just take it as correct. Yeah. Americans are just louder in general than we are. That this I is know. no such thing as an indoor voice with them. No, every There's conversation no is sort of a few decibels higher. Imagine if- uh, We've heard about that before. A lot of Europe like, everyone, Americans are so loud. Even when doing these videos, like I've seen in the comments like, God, you guys are so loud. <laughs> But definitely, like, yeah, when we went to the UK for the first time, it was just like, yeah, you're, I'm, I don't personally think I'm that loud. I didn't think I was until I realized how quiet everyone else was. I speak quickly and I speak softly, so I Sometimes. feel like I don't come off as loud. Yeah. But you, I could tell it was just like, you can't be loud right now. Like, I can hear you above everyone else. But yeah, I feel like it, that is very true. And I just, we don't recognize it. Like, yeah. unless you know about us, it, just like, you're just talking like you normally do. Yeah. Like, if one of us was American, we'd have to constantly adjust the levels of the sound. Oh, yeah. so one would be shouting, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. or just there normal, and the other one would be... Absolutely. It wouldn't work. It's a bit offensive, this work. but I just, yeah, I can't deal. I can't deal with it. My dad's the other way around, though. Like, he, oh, he's so annoying. In America, we laugh at it, because there's one restaurant we went to, Outback, if you know it. It's an Australian yeah, restaurant in, in America. In America. Cool. Australian. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the genres of food Australian. That you do. It's just burgers <laughs> being like, it's Australian. Anyway, <laughs> so we went there, and the waitress obviously is very loud, and she has to be because she's talking to like over all of the restaurant. And my dad is very quiet, and she goes, uh, Anything for you, sir? Like, drink wise. And my dad went, Nothing for me, thank you, I'm fine. And she was like, What? And he's like, Nothing for me, thank you, I'm fine. And she's like, <laughs> eh? And we had to translate for him because. He speaks very quietly and he doesn't just give one answer just going, no thanks. He always has to go, nothing for me, thanks, I'm fine. We're like, so why can't you just like A, speak louder, sentence. or B, just say, no thanks. No like, thanks. you're confusing her by just going, so nothing for me, thank you, I'm fine. 
And it's just really so funny. funny. It's a complete clash of cultures oh where he's just very quiet and saying a million words. <laughs> and she's just like, ah, ah. <laughs> Okay, I would find that slightly annoying. It's like, obviously I'm having issues hearing you. Can you, you know, repeat? Not in the exact same way, because that's where I'm having issues hearing you. So I would find that a little bit annoying. I've done that before, not even intentionally. Like, you ask me to repeat myself or something, and yes, it's just have. like, I just say it the same way. And I'm like, uh-uh, that's not working yeah. for me. So You tend to do it ironically, like, purposely. Like, yeah. I'm having issues hearing you, and you're like, I'm, I don't care. I'm it's by the right. third time that I do. Yeah, it's the third time you are. <laughs> In that oh. very posh accent, yes. it's just too much. Yeah. The kids, the schools, the national anthem. Standing the up at, in your classroom, like with your hand on your heart, or a baseball. So this is funny. Yeah. My mum and dad went to a baseball game in America. Oh, the celebrations after they score. No, 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 no. no. That's, that's mm -hmm. another that thing. But they. Before the game, they all stand up, hand on heart, sing their national anthem. Yeah. And I was like, oh, so what do you Every do? Every sporting went, no, I stood up and joined in. And I was like, Mom, <laughs> you're not even American. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> it's just imagining her standing there, Debbie Wood, this British woman, like, <laughs> joining in with the song. Oh, that is... So I mean... It's a good song! Yeah, I've heard that from, again, you know, like, some of the TikTok videos and stuff. We've done a lot of people said like America is like the Pledge of Allegiance and like how I think the only two other countries like was Germany during World War II and North Korea that had a Pledge of Allegiance yeah. and stuff. I don't really feel one way or the other about it except that I do think it is dis not the Pledge of Allegiance but the National Anthem it, yeah. I do think it's a little disrespectful if you don't at least stand up for it if yeah. everyone else is doing it yeah. you don't have to like I'm not gonna hate on you or anything no. but it's just kinda like okay come on like this is what we do as a nation. It's nation. not really so much a sign of uh, patriotism by holding your hands over your heart it's more of just a respect because of I feel like what the song means and stuff. Most of it is for um, just honoring the military. Yeah, the active, it's, the that's active kind service of what the song members is. is really more. Well, I mean, why we do it? I think um, why it's done. So I don't like. I don't get why it's done at every sporting event. Oh. But because it is, I feel like it's you're just kind of disrespecting the military or the firefighters. If or you police. don't, well, yeah, I feel okay, it's just yeah. kind of a sign of respect just to stand there. And, yeah, I uh, think they do it for more than just sporting events. I really they do, do it feel like for the a lot of different things. Pledge of Allegiance is pretty much out of schools though. Like, I, I, maybe it's not, but I really feel like it is. I don't know. It's definitely on uh, the. I haven't been to public school in ever. I, from what I understand, yeah, it's definitely on the teacher's discretion, and I really don't. I think it's becoming definitely a thing of the past. Yeah, but I wouldn't say patriotism has gone down. I There's have no idea what's going on right now. There. It's I don't know. Sometimes it's nice just to kind of hide away in our little shed. When it comes to <laughs> politics, the world. right now the U.S. is just very like one or the other. It's very I don't know. It's kind of <laughs> toxic right now. So a little bit. So in fact, she doesn't even know oh the words God, either. So, <laughs> so, but oh, then we went to a basketball okay. game. All yeah. together, and um, I, me, and my brother's girlfriend refused to join in. We just sat there, like we're like, this isn't our like. I'm happy to watch, like go for it. America's great, mm -hmm. but we're just like, I'm not joining in. This isn't my country. Whereas the she rest of my family, it. yeah, all there, like. I don't know the words, but I'm gonna do it. it. Yeah. That's funny. I think Ben stood up. I don't think Ben did the heart thing, but then me and Caitlin were just but like taking the part of the culture. That's so funny, you because you're an attention seeker. You wanted yeah. people to look at you and be like, why aren't yeah, they doing yeah. it? Plus, I'm also like. That's essentially pledging allegiance to America, and I'm sorry, but I'm English. Yeah, fair play. I'd probably join God in. save the Queen, yeah? God save the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I would to say it's pledging allegiance by holding your hand over the heart. Like we said, it's more of just a sign of respect. It's not a matter of like... Well, the National Anthem is not a pledge of allegiance. No, it's, it's not. If it was, then if if it was the Pledge of Allegiance, then yeah, I would totally be like, okay, that's kind of weird that you would do it. But maybe he, maybe they did do the Pledge of Allegiance at a basketball game. That's possible. I, I thought know. he said the national anthem, but maybe he did wasn't specific. But yeah, the anthem is more of just a respect thing. Like if you don't do it, some people you probably Especially would get some head turns. Like, why are you sitting? But if they found out you were from a different country, they'd be like, oh, okay, well that makes sense. It's a fairly pretty song, it depends on who does it. Yeah. And if it's performed well, it's yeah. not a bad anthem. I will admit that I don't actually know all the words to it. Because I, I don't have it memorized. If I sing it from the beginning, I know the words. If I was singing it in a group, maybe I'd get it. Or, yeah. You know, but I don't actually hear it that often. No. I don't know, yeah. Yeah. Want to save the queen, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> this is my queen, I will never- They're having way too much fun. <laughs> Queens is homie. We, we've never sung our national anthem in class or at school. We don't even know the I words. don't even know the words. Wow. God, God save, save our, our gracious queen. queen. God save our gracious queen. God, God save our gracious save queen. God save our gracious queen. Just over and over. We don't even know it. We don't know and it. And that's not because we're not proud to be British. It's just because we're kind of like... Then we've never... 
Britain's <laughs> great, but so is other yeah. countries. Yeah, and we'd all mm. rather not sing. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't, Please, make us sing. Please. Please don't make us all do the yeah, same thing oh all no. together. There's nothing worse, is there? Like, turn to the person next to you and say your name and That's the make worst. friends with the person next to you. Oh. Stop. Oh, I'd so rather it. die. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally, you'd rather die. Um, and the last one is. The last one is the fact that you always assume you're the only country that has freedom of speech. And I get it. We've oh, touched mm -hmm. on it before. We've had some comments being like, yeah, but we're the only country that puts it in our constitution or whatever it is. And we haven't got a written constitution. And we haven't got that. And by saying that hate speech in the UK can get you in prison. But I'm like, that doesn't mean we haven't got freedom. Technically, I guess that does mean we don't have complete freedom, freedom to say anything. Speech. But we don't I want people freedom. who say hateful things to be allowed to live. Yeah, like, I know. <laughs> if anyone incites <laughs> racism extreme. and hatred and things like that, they deserve to be locked up. And every British person is like, here, here, get them locked up. No yeah. one wants them. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So I don't understand. And that's why we don't have the sort of equivalent of the Ku Klux Klan in the UK. Yeah. Because we wouldn't stand for that. And they're instantly mm. in jail. I'm pretty sure the KKK doesn't exist anymore. I could tell. Totally, Not publicly. Okay, anyway. I, I, guys, I haven't looked it up. There's probably some tiny faction somewhere that still exists, but for the most part, it's been disbanded and not allowed. Yeah, people. If you're part of the KKK now, like people are gonna hate on you. Like that's just. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. It's. I don't know. The freedom of speech thing is like we don't have total freedom of speech. Not so much anymore. No, not no. Like we've never like. But it's like. You can't shout fire in a crowded building. You can't. Right. You can't incite violence. You can't incite. You know. But the penalty are riot. different, though, for that. I know, but if it's you know, if it causes, if, it? it's the thing. It's like if it causes uh, people to commit crimes or something. You're not. Yeah. Like, you don't have total freedom of speech. But I, I, I get his point though. It's like, and I'll, to go further, like a lot of Americans think, like, oh, the U.S. is the only free country, or we're the only. Right. You know, we have. We're the only country, we're the, we're the freest country on the nation, Earth. And it's kind of like, not really. After learning about other countries, like... It seems like most other countries are just as free as we are. And you have to get down to really, really specific details of why we might be more free than they are. But in some ways, I feel like we're not as free. Especially Absolutely. when it comes to certain, like, government-funded, like, healthcare and such like, like that. Like, some things we're allowed to do. It's like, we're more enslaved because we put ourselves in slavery. Well, I'll even say, like, when it comes... I, I don't know a ton about gun laws, but when it comes to even gun laws, there's, like, ten over 10,000 different gun laws. So, yeah. I, I feel good with they say, but it's like every American breaks, like, eight laws or something a day. Yeah, without even with knowing... guns the, or just no, in no, general? No, 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 just general. There's just so many laws. Jaywalking's a big one. The U.S. has an insane same amount of laws. Yeah. Like it really is. I don't know compared to other countries if it's comparable or not, but there is a law for everything in the US. Yeah. There's Most also the some really bizarre laws that are technically still in place. They just don't get enforced as much because it doesn't happen. Like we came across one, I think it was in Louisiana or Florida, and it's like you're not allowed to drive with a live alligator in your car or something bizarre like that. Or maybe one, it was a bear. The one I heard recently, I think it was in West Virginia or Virginia, it was like you're not supposed to have a pie cooling on your um, window seal oh, yeah. on a certain day or something. I think it was on Sundays. It was and... like a really specific law, but it's actually a law. And it's like if they enforced it, you could be penalized for that. Yeah, you could. Anyway, sorry for the... It's just like when it comes to uh, the freedom stuff, I just... Like I'm learning more when I was just like, yeah, we... I mean, I feel like we do have... We have Comparable freedoms, freedoms, but yeah. it's not this blanket like you can literally do whatever you want, whenever you want, no. however you want kind of thing. We do not have that. Land of the free is just a title. It was a catchphrase. Yeah. Instantly. So I don't understand why people are like, yeah, we're the most freedom free country speech. in the world. I'm like, no, you're not. Like, every yeah. country is free and we just don't stand for. Well, okay. Okay. that's not true. North Korea is not a free country. No, and I think there's some other ones I don't know specifically. But I know we're not. Yeah. There are I was going to say we'd rather be safe than be free, but. We're neither, are we? Not safe. We're not we're safe not free. anymore. We're not free. <laughs> but yeah, well, I thing, don't know. Just, I do agree. Do you feel free? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I can say anything. Yeah. But the thing is, the thoughts that I have are not necessarily going to offend people. No. But I do feel like yeah. I can say Because you're a nice person, but anyone yeah. who does have those thoughts doesn't even deserve to live. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I, I think he's being hyperbolic because that's just kind of extreme. Like, yeah. Say, even if you're a bad person, like to say like you don't deserve to live is. I, what if you're just mental people, and got people, Tourette's? People, God damn. It's well, I'm just saying, sometimes you say things, and maybe that's just the way your brain okay. thinks. Uh, I wasn't going there, but no, I was just saying people can change, too. That, too. I, I'm just saying, like, for specific things, Freedom you don't always... Thing, yeah. Death is not always an option. But anyway, get America, yeah, I guess you are free. Like, congrats. So there we have it. That's five things that uh, Americans do that piss off British people. Well, I do think I'm a bit guilty of some of those, for sure. 
Yeah, it's interesting. It's definitely more their like personal yeah. uh, concepts and stuff. Obviously, they have a very fun channel. Pretty much knew all those. I didn't know about the the dinner plate one. Yeah, the dinner plate one. The dinner plate That's one was one. I was just kind of like, oh wow, I actually didn't realize that. But yeah, I get yeah. I've, in the comments on the channel here, I, I've seen so many like, oh, you're actually not the pretty. Like we just went over that whole rant, but <laughs> it is true. But I do get why it's. I think also another thing that irritates foreigners. And correct me guys if I'm wrong, but it's like America's ignorance and mm -hmm. arrogance. Yeah. It's like we're Which very arrogant at the same time also very ignorant, I feel like, yeah. kind of on a whole. Yeah. Like again, we just did one of those uh, Flecka Talks, Man on yeah. the Street tile. People are like, are honestly kind of dumb. No, <laughs> no offense. Like I know I'm not the smartest person, but at the same time it's like you should know basic things. Yeah, but then still have the arrogance to say like, oh, every other country is like, you are, and like lower you than us. No. But at the same time, you're not even... And again, I've seen this. Some I've seen the stats also. Like we don't rank hardly in first on anything, mm, right? Except debt, and size, military. Not even size. We're not the biggest country. No, we're bigger than a lot of countries, though. Yeah, but we're not the biggest. No. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, I'm really looking forward to the comments. So let yeah. us know down below what uh, American, what things irritate you about Americans. I think that's right, yes. <laughs> I know. This sentence for one. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said at the beginning, I'd have to really think about it, but again, I haven't been to Berlin yeah. enough. And I do talk with uh, quite a few people, but like it's usually cordial. So yeah. the only thing that I guess that could irritate me about foreigners is just the constant bashing on the U.S. Because mm. at least, again, in the comments, it is just sometimes it's just like, okay, I get your point, but come on, like, <laughs> whatever. Other than that, it's like, yeah, I don't have really have any problems with, I haven't had any, I can't really think of anything. I'm that, still fascinated by the Brits and most other cultures, so. I know, but I can't think of anything that, like, 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 oh, I really dislike that about the bread, so I wish they wouldn't do that. Or, <laughs> That's you know. true. So anyway, guys, uh, long video, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let us know down in the comments below, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.